Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. Okay, so we're starting out with a little bit of potato, mm -hmm. and you've already, of course, pre-cooked this. Of course, al dente. Al dente, oh, okay. We'll so a little, too, not all the way through then. Right. Okay. You know, so it's not Good like, you know. yeah. Hi, I'm your host, Tina Marie, and I'm with Chef Walter Stave of City Tavern, and we are rounding out our home feel-good breakfast with a nice frittata. Yeah, it's an omelet, it's a frittata, it's a whatever, you know, yeah. a lot of people are confused. So this is a real frittata. This is a real frittata. And you know, frittatas, many restaurants have adopted the word frittata and, and give you anything. That maybe or maybe not even resembles a frittata. Well, you'll teach us what a true frittata is well, all about. Well, there is really no right or wrong again. This is a funny ah, thing okay. because a frittata can be cooked in a pan completely, can be cooked in the oven as we do today. Okay. And the reason I want to show it in the oven because it's again an easy thing for home entertaining. So you can actually do your things and don't worry about don't worry about slaving over the kitchen. Sure, a little garlic in the yep. pan. Garlic again, in the pan, a little onion. A one dish meal, really. Yep. You, you have all of your vegetables and your proteins, your meats, all in one dish, so. It's all come together in really, one dish. It could be, it's a full meal, really. It is. And it's basically a dish that whether you can use for breakfast, mm -hmm. but it's not for breakfast only anymore. And you can do it any time. You were telling me before the show that you're, you're, we're using the grill and serve yeah, breakfast sausages today, which are the best. The pancetta in there, just a little bit for flavor. Put the potatoes in. There we go, potatoes. Okay. So there's a lot of breakfast sausages out in the marketplace when, you, when you're at your store. I'll tell you though, none of them are as large and as plump and not the quality well, that you so get with Eats and Watson breakfast well, sausages. It, somebody asked me this just a while ago and I said, you know, the difference is if you use good product in it, yes. you don't have to hide anything. It's beautiful when you, when you bite into it. Matter of fact, I'll tell all you All natural what. seasonings, you can yeah. tell how beautifully and, and seasoned. All I want to do with those, but let me tell you the beauty of this dish is, which was not the invention of the dish. The beauty is that it's a great leftover recycler. So if you have, oh. a, if you have a party right. and you got stuff left over, sausages, they don't have to be cooked for that. Yeah, try the sausage here. Please, I've never had, this is my oh, first time tasting the, the grilled and served sausages. Oh, it smells if so you, good. Huh. Oh my gosh. It smells so good, isn't it fantastic? Mm. That great casing, mm -hmm. you know? Now, that nice crispy casing. The other thing, this one will be I cook very mm. slow, as you know. Great notice. flavor. Mm -hmm. just, oh my gosh, great peppery flavor. What you're doing, you just, you just want to cook up the outside, yeah. get it nice and brown. But like I said, it's, uh, you any, don't even have to? Anything you have, no, you don't want to cook it. You want to cook it up, yeah, yeah. okay. The reason why the flavor is so good is because the sausage has no fillers in it. It's you know, it's this. all meat and seasonings. It's and very you, pure, authentic. So now? Beautiful slab of Deetz and Watson turkey okay. breast. Now this one here for that I would cut very small. Okay. But again, there is no right or wrong. If you like bigger, like it's smaller, this really make no it's difference. It's a frittata. You can use your artistic but, liberties. Plus you can use your, you can, Use your ideas, whatever you want to throw in there. There's nothing that stops you from putting well, any leftover roast beef or some chicken, anything you have around. It really doesn't make a difference. Anything goes in there. Well, I like how, and you've, you've done it several times throughout throughout the show today, is you're combining the different meats. You're using, the, you're using the breakfast sausage and the turkey, which sort of, in this dish, anyway, the turkey actually acts as a canvas for all the real it gets, flavorful. It gets, what it does, it's, it's, it's additional flavor. Yes. What you do is you put in the mixture, in the bottom of your pan, hold on a second, hot. You can make this dish exceptionally healthy too. I mean, you have spinach in here, you can add all kinds of vegetables, like you said, anything you have in and your refrigerator. And what I'm trying to tell you, you can go to this stage, as you have it right now. Yes. You can you can get it to this stage, pre-made, and keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready. Cover, okay. Absolutely. And how long will it keep at this stage? A couple of days. Oh, oh really? Oh, so yeah. you could put this way ahead of time. Oh, yeah. Cook this down a little. Yep. Put it in Pyrex already. Absolutely. Essentially, actually, we're we're saying how wonderful for brunch this would be, but this could be a great dinner. It's almost like a casserole. Well, it is. Okay, so it essentially is a casserole. It's a casserole, and the only difference that has it, you know, normal like an omelet, it has a lot of cheese in it. You would like, like I said, we have two cheeses in there. You know, mozzarella bolognese, but you can do whatever you feel like it. Now this is interesting. You're cooking it this way in a casserole type style. How would we do it differently if we wanted to finish it on the stove and say a skillet? You do, do exactly the same do thing. Exactly and the just, same thing. Yeah, uh -huh, and just, just keep everything in there and then prepare your eggs like this. Correct. Okay. And then just do it and flip it over and you're in business. Oh, okay. So same you can thing. finish it in the skillet or you could do it ahead of time like this. Yeah. So you're gonna do that like so. But I said you don't have to. I mean, if you and that's feel, cream we're using, correct? That's just cream. Right. Okay. Now you can put a little important a little nutmeg. Likes it big time. And Anything. I've learned from you always grind fresh nutmeg. Absolutely, don't buy store ground. This is like uh, uh, taking uh, sand. That's right. Because it doesn't have no more flavor. And also, 
preservatives you don't need in your system. So now you do that, look at here, and, and then pour it right over. Okay, so right over top and, and everything so just comes together beautifully. Exactly, and it's kind of, this one rises actually when you bake it a I can bit. see, with the addition of the cream, I suppose that and helps that along, And then it gets along, Parmesan right? on top. We're using all kinds yeah. of Dietz and Watson cheeses. Yeah, and then Parmesan on Parmesan, top. Parmesan, mozzarella, we've also used, was it provolone yep. that the cheese we used today? Yep. Now it goes in the oven, put it right by the oven, since we have already one in the oven, I'm making a little okay. bit of food garnish here. How beautifully this is browned up, actually. But I thought it's great oven. Wow. Yep, put it there. Look at that. That's a sight for the sore eye. Look at that. Mm. And we can do it just to, like, we can do it just a quick... Uh, nice fresh watermelon. A quick watermelon. We're, just ha we're having a breakfast bonanza today, aren't we, though? <laughs> There's some grapes you can stick on the side Certainly. if you like. Okay. There you go. A little bit more. One and more. you know what? You could experiment with all kinds of Dietz and Watson meats. You could probably make this with, you could use corned beef um, and pair that up with like a nice Swiss cheese, I think. Sky is the limit. All you gotta do is try it a couple times. You don't like black it. Black forest ham. Just don't make it again. We can make a whole black forest frittata. Just, just don't make it again if you don't like it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. Well, you can mix and match, yeah. you know? We got some little beverage for you. I'm in so in the mood for beer. I you have a beer. nice brew for us, Walter, today. Yeah. This is a little beer that Yards produces. Paula. Yes. Nice for our breakfast bonanza today. Cartwright is the name. You are the count, now you're Cartwright. <laughs> oh, we have, what we have fun, Walter. Hey, it's only good That's what it's all about. It's all in good taste, right? That's exactly That's right. Saying. And with Dietz and Watson, it makes it easy. Cheers to right. that. Let's drink together. Yes, let's drink right. together. Mm. That's just what I was in the mood for. Seriously, Beautiful. Really. Truly. Oh, okay. Let's cut in there. I was careful the way. Mm. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, be careful, it's hot. Watch it because you'll feel. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks delicious, though. It is good. Lots look of look great look meat. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, my gosh, look mm -hmm. at that. Yep. It, you were very generous with the meat, too. Yep. Meat and cheese. Mmm. The breakfast sausage with the turkey. Mm -hmm. Great it. combination. Pancetta. Put all those cheeses together. The pancetta. Parmesan on top. Fabulous mouthful. To a fabulous Oops. breakfast. Love it. Drink together. To you and Dietz and Watson and the world. You bet. Dietz and Watson.